Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more EU4 Rule Britannia, the big blue blob. We have taken over almost all of Ireland at this point. Whatever we do not currently own will fall relatively soon. If we can get Munster down, that'll be great. Now I will feed, I think, Cork and Munster and Tyrone to Knott. Or do I want to do that? How much would it cost me to annex them right now? It's currently looking at about 176 Diplo power, which is reasonable. Completely doable eventually. I don't know how much more I want to keep giving them. At some point I need to be careful that I don't take too much and give myself a really bad coalition. That said, I'm not sure it matters that much. Eh, let's go ahead and core the rest of these, get that process started. Eh, maybe we're alright, maybe we're alright. We do need to keep building up our heavy navy. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We'll build uh, one, two there. Uh, I don't want to buy any more, because I can't really afford much more. We could actually reduce my army maintenance, but... Eh, not sure if that's... Eh, it probably is worth it. We can reduce it at least a little bit and save myself a little money. The reinforcements shouldn't kill my siege too much, right? I don't think so. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Reasonable, reasonable enough. One more province claimed from uh, Scotland will put them in a pretty easy position for me to kill them. And if we have our navy in position with a pretty no good number of heavies, currently we have, what, eight? Eight heavies? Uh, that's not terrible. We should be able to dominate the Irish Sea with that. And I think, actually, if we look at the navies here, so England currently has seven heavies and I have eight. So if we keep building these up, we actually will be able to win the naval race, presumably against uh, England, which would make things a heck of a lot easier. And we actually do have enough favors now with Burgundy that we would be able to call them in on a war with England. Um, I'm going to improve relations with them for a little bit because I really don't want to lose that alliance. I want to make sure we take make good use of those... Um, I want to make sure that we make good use of those favors. It would be kind of a waste if they decided they were bored of me now. The heavies have arrived. There we go. There goes the Siege of Munster. That is done. We are going to hand you off to Clan, Clan, Clan Ricard. Clan Ricard. That's the thing we're looking for. Uh, let's pull off of Navarra for a minute. We'll be able to annex them for at least a couple more years anyway. Sue for Peace, going to hand you off. You're going to give me all of your money. Ten ducats is not much, but we'll take it. That goes away. Goodbye. Okay. And we will send uh, at least a couple of troops... To go and assist here in Cork, get a good general with some siege value involved. That'll be nice. You're going to go to Ulster. Tyrone will fall relatively soon. We can actually finish our war against Ormond and take this myself. And we will. Take the money. How's the uh, coalition? Brittany would join. That's a problem. I do not want Brittany joining in a coalition yet. That said, as long as uh, Scotland does, does not join, I could declare war on them and Brittany wouldn't be able to do much. Yeah, the, the, this rapid expansion is definitely going to come back to bite me pretty pretty quick if I'm not careful. But being the Papal Controller is reducing my own aggressive expansion a pretty substantial amount, which is awesome. I'm going to go ahead and take Ormond for myself. Done. We will core you up. Thank you. Things that I have trouble coring, like for example... Well, I guess I could have cored this, but eh, whatever. We'll just, do, we'll just do this. We'll split Ireland in half. Some of it goes to me, some of it goes to my vassal. We just make sure that we start annexing them pretty much as soon as we're able to, which is 15, 1462. Plenty of time to annex them, and I don't think we have any other real use for Diplo power, so that's easy enough. All right, there goes the Siege of Tyrone. Um, we can go ahead and feed this off now, I suppose, which we'll go ahead and do. This one I don't see a reason to take for myself, so we'll hand... Oh, can't. All right, never mind. I guess we'll have to wait on that. Monetary reforms. Lose stability, gain inflation. Ugh. Inflation is low right now. I do not want to lose the stability. So let's go ahead and do this. Provence took money, and that's it. From Prov Sorry, Burgundy took money from Provence. Really? Uh, okay. That's an interesting choice. Can we excommunicate these guys now? Totally can. Um, if we did that... That would make it easier for the Papal State to justify taking a lot of land, which I don't necessarily want them to do. Who else, um, who else does the Papal State ho hate? Believe it or not, we actually might be able to excommunicate Castile. 
which would be an option uh, if I ever if I needed to, right? If I needed to say, screw Castile, I'm taking some of your cheap lands. Do you have cheap land? Hang on, I don't know why I'm considering this, but they got they got a little bit. I don't know. We could we could do that, but I, I don't think that makes a lot of sense. What I'd like to do is excommunicate somebody like Austria or Aragon, but unfortunately, the Papal State likes them quite a bit, so that's not going to be an option. Uh, we cannot excommunicate Burgundy, Brittany, so it really leaves just Provence. I'm going to hold off on that for now just to try and uh, discourage the Pope from taking too much land in that war, just in case I want it, just in case... Um, so yeah, let's not worry about that right now. Okay, so we don't need to get any more claims right now. Let's go ahead and continue improving relations with my vassal. Hello. You'd think he'd like me a bit more, considering I keep giving him land? But apparently not. Apparently not. Okay. Um, military access. Yes. I don't want to upset the Pope. I want the Pope to like me. All right, let's see. Um, we should make sure we invest a little bit of papal influence to just keep a good chance of becoming the papal controller again. I really do not want England to get that. That would be super bad. Super duper bad. Hey, what are you doing killing their ships? Did you think I was going to help you? You were wrong. Bye. All right. <clears throat> um, how are we doing as far as Bohemia's opinion? It's going up. It's going to be really difficult to get any of these guys to like me enough to be willing to vote for me to be the emperor. It'd be awesome, but I just don't see it as very likely. Um, okay, so that's done. We definitely need a diplomat now, so let's go ahead and pull off. We're going to hand this off to these guys as well. Okay, let's start with the obvious one. Tyrone goes there. I take money. Again, you only have 20 ducats. It's not a lot. Say goodbye. Okay. Okay. And then in a few days, we do the same thing here with Desmond. Uh, take your money. Give it away. And that is it. Coalition currently looks like Provence could join. Still think we're okay. All right, done. There we go. So we're missing one province now from uh, Ireland. Otherwise, within a very short amount of time, that's done and over with. How many provinces am I looking at currently owning myself? 37 out of the 100 that I need, plus an extra 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's 43, 44 once I annex Navarra as well. 44 provinces by 1454. Not bad. It's only been 10 years, and we've already gotten about 20 provinces done and out of the way. So the next big test would be to kill Scotland. Scotland, Scotland, Scotland. A um, little tough. Let me think. I want to kill Brittany quickly. Now, here's the thing. I could annex them, or I could vassalize them. Vassalizing is what you usually do to Brittany in this case, but because I already have a couple of vassals, do I want to do that, or do I not? It's a tough question. Permanent taxation system. Unrest. Innovativeness. Hmm. Gain of stability for free, though. That's a pretty good short-term benefit that I really like, so we're going to go ahead and grab the free stability. I think that'll be better overall. Uh, okay, so let's see. If we are going to do this, a um, couple things need to happen. I definitely need to start transferring some troops down to deal with Brittany, so we're going to take this army. Well, actually, hang on. We're going to split these guys around. Like so. Um, I need to continue building heavies, so we will. I'm going to build one, two there. That would give me 12 heavies in total. Um, that's good. Could we also train up some troops instead? Maybe. But I think more heavies might still be better. That said, amazingly, we're out of sailors. Oh, when does that ever happen? Never. All right. Who the heck are you? Urbino? Oh, hi. I don't get to see your flag very often. How you doing there, buddy? Um, Let me hang on. Let me think for a second. If we... Don't want to excommunicate them right now. If we built more heavies, that means that I just have a better naval superiority against England. England, I definitely need to take a couple of provinces for myself. We'll be able to call in Burgundy as well. Um, Cornwall and Wales have some very cheap provinces that I could make use of in addition to everything else. If we declared war on you, nobody is willing to join currently. Castile is in debt and has uh, a fighting another war. Papal State, same deal. Burgundy, um, war exhaustion, and their manpower is quite low. 
I don't care about Friesland. Brittany, 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 Brittany. Um, let's go ahead and do this. How many troops does Scotland have? This is the question. Scotland is sitting on... That's not... No, hang on. That's not what I'm looking for. Armies. Thank you. Sort by name. Scotland has 9,000 troops. So if I do take this army down in Brittany and leave this army up here, that's still technically enough to deal with them. Okay, I'm alright with that. Actually, A-OK -okay with that. Uh, we've maxed out our relationship with Bohemia. That's the best I can hope for there. Let's go back to improving relations with my vassal. Both of them. Just so I, again, will be able to annex when the time comes. I also want them to be loyal. Alright, still losing the innovativeness, but at this point I don't think it matters. Um, nothing else here is important. This is all fine. We could probably go for an advisor. Uh, keep in mind one other thing that I could do is say, one, screw corruption. Don't care about that. Save some money. Two, reduce army maintenance um, to get a little bit more money that way. We also can reduce our fleet maintenance to save a pretty good chunk because I have heavies and no light ships. Which means I'm not getting trade power, which means if I'm not actively using my navy, it has no benefit. We might as well let it mothball, basically, and just save some money. I think. Okay, um, you actually are going to go over here. You should be able to kill this on your own, but I want to make sure we just beat that down fast. Uh, we got Leinster. Okay, you're in position to kill Brittany ASAP. Now we need these ships to come up here so we can control the Irish Sea. I'm actually going to split this army so I can quickly jump across here so that I don't have to take a straight crossing penalty when I fight the Ira uh, the Scottish. Yeah. All right, let's actually raise up our army and uh, fleet maintenance because we are now about to attack them, I think. It is almost that time. Should be easy. Should be easy. Okay. June, that is all we need. We can get our final claim here. Well, oh, you annexed this guy. Hi. And this still only has what? Three development? Yeah, so that doesn't matter. Nine development here, though, is worth getting a claim on. Anything to make it cheaper and easier to core, and also cost me less war score, is certainly going to be beneficial in the long run. All right, treason against France. Ooh. Oh. Okay, we can gain army professionalism. I do not want unrest and stuff, though. We'll go ahead and just accept that that's the case. Uh, rebels are currently a problem, but if they continue to be an issue, I can always just increase autonomy, and I'm okay with that because we don't care about the short-term benefits of that or downsides. We just need to hold the land, and I cannot afford to deal with any rebellions. Are we ready to go right now? Yes, we kind of are. This will result in a load of aggressive expansion. There's not much I can do about that right now. I do not want to co-belligerize Brittany because... Well, do I? No. Well. Total war score cost for all Breton provinces is 80%. How long until we can annex Navarra? Because I don't think we're going to fight Aragon at all. I just don't see it happening. 1458. In three years. I could quickly annex Navarra and then replace them with Brittany as another vassal. It's just a question of... Do you want to vassalize or conquer them? If I co-belligerize, it's easy to conquer them. But I really am not sure I want to fight Helra and such. And Utrecht. That would give me another front line down here that I have to worry about that I'm not really eager to deal with. I think it's okay not to. I think it's okay not to co-belligerize them. We have permanent claims on them anyway. We're not going to. Instead, we are going to say that this is our war goal since we'll siege that down quickly. Um, and we're going to pull out into the Irish Sea. We're going to wait at least another month. I want to get some more morale. We can get some tech. Admin tech. That's interesting. I'm going to save that until the end of this war, though. All right. Here goes nothing. We're declaring our war against Scotland. Boom. 
Blob! Big blue blob! It's time! Uh, this navy is going to get in my way, isn't it? Well, hello. Those are just trade ships, though. My heavies will be able to obliterate you. Okay, so that's done. I'm going to leave behind the troops required. Nope. How many cavalry do you have? Enough. All right. We'll take the cavalry. We'll take these. These all join. You can now cross. You will join them. And this should make sure that we control the strait. We also are fighting Brittany. Where'd they go? Brit 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 Brittany? Hi. What are you doing? Where'd you go? Are you over here? Probably over here, right? Oh, nope, there you are. No, no, no. Come here. I want to fight you. I want to kill you. All right. So we got that. Hi, you're glaring at me now. Uh, that's fine, though. We're going to control this. Now, let's see. These are the farmlands. I think I've got a good advantage going into this, but we can't take that until we siege down the West March, so we're going to do that instead. And if he wants to come in and siege this, that's fine by me. Okay, so this is easy. We're now going to go fight Brittany. He can't escape from me. Say goodbye. And you're stack wiped. Well, split. Go here. You, split, split, and split. Go here, 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 and here. We're going to try to slow down any reinforcements. He's going to murk up pretty aggressively, just because he doesn't have a lot of time. But we should be able to slow a lot of that down. And there we go. All right. Brittany is officially dead. Oh, hi, Friesland. Whoa. How many ships you got? Oh, it's Brittany's as well and Scotland's. Oh, wow. You have more, way more ships than I think I expected. Okay. Um, We are still blockading over here. And I'm going to go ahead and let just, that just continue to be the case. Uh, hang on. You're going to kill Kanat if we don't defend. You arrive on the 30th. See if we can scare him off, sort of. I'd rather, I'd like to take this fight. Yeah, there we go. Alright, easy. Can't go anywhere until we get the West March. So this is just required. Alright. Uh, you guys. You go here. You go here. We need to get the cavalry out of this, honestly. That's what we need to do. Uh, so let's go ahead and take the two cavalry. Back them off. New Cardinal in Lyonnais, loyal to France. Three active Cardinals. Good. All right. Everything here is looking solid. We have a couple more heavies done. That's going to make things a lot easier when we do want to fight uh, England. Making good, solid progress here. The blockade helps. West Marches is down. Go to Lothian. Cannot concede that down. That'll be fine. He's got 16 troops now. Mm-hmm. You're going to go and blockade over... Where's your port? Here. Go to the inner Herb Hebrides. You're murking. Which worries me. I'm going to back up. Wait. Instead, you decided to do this. Why? Cannot is in trouble, and I'm not confident I can win this fight. That's a lot of extra infantry. He's murked up pretty hard. It's relatively even numbers. I think I think we can give it a shot. Let's try to beat this. Whoa, that was close. Okay, and it looks like we will win, though it was a little close. Dith Martian entered into a military alliance with Friesland, which I don't care about. We're going to sit here for a little bit. Hi, Friesland. Hang on, we can kill you. Stack wipe. Say goodbye to your troops. That was easy. Now sit back. I need to get some more troops up here ASAP. We can call in Burgundy. That's all well and good. Um... Now, if I wanted to take you as a vassal, we can't. Ooh, that's way more war score. Yeah, we actually cannot take all of Brittany in this war. <clears throat> um, what are your cheapest provinces? 12, 12, 9, 12, 10. May have been better to co-belligerize them, to be honest. It's expensive enough land that I'm not convinced one way or the other, but maybe. Um, we won the siege. Good. Reinforcements need to come up here. If you want to cross these straits and get your troops stuck, I'm okay with that, you know. That's fine. No, they don't want to. Okay. I'm going to go kill this while Knott holds the, the fort. 
Say goodbye to Friesland's troops. Okay, now they're going to join up. That's unfortunate. Um, let's see if we can chase away some of these ships so I can free up some armies to transport back up here. Eventually? Maybe. All right, we just need to reinforce for a little bit is what we need. He's got a bunch of troops coming over this direction. Uh, that's unfortunate, but is it worth sitting back on this? Now, let's think about this for a second. What can I actually take from you? These are the things I have claims on. That's three development, seven development, six development. We need this. Sutherland is a requirement so we can fabricate a claim on Orkney. Speaking of which, we actually could start building up a spy network against Denmark now. Uh, so that I'm ready to jump into that war ASAP. Yeah, Scotland has murked up pretty hard, um, and this is a problem. So yes, we need to take our ships, chase some of these guys away, so that we will be able to get reinforcements up here, because uh, Scotland's making this tough. Let's go here so we can blockade. Robber barons. Hmm... I'm going to go ahead and upset the bourgeoisie. Okay, they're unseaging a bunch of stuff now. I don't want to lose progress on Lothian, though. We're going to hold it. We're going to hold it until I can get some reinforcements up here. Okay, there goes that siege. That was easy. Uh, let's have these go and assist. You assist here. Let's chase away this navy. That worked. Go blockade. We're getting kind of put in a really bad spot here, and it's worrying me. Um, you definitely need to have the general. This is required. So we can make this a little bit faster. Um, I don't want Navarre to lose this fight. Ah, oh boy. We're, we're in an awkward spot here. I need to end this video because we're at our 20 minutes. Uh, as long as we don't lose this fight, getting Lothian's a big deal. Getting their capital makes a big... is a lot. It makes a lot of sense. It's fine. Brittany, we're just in this weird spot where I'm not going to be able to do much to them. Interestingly, their independence is guaranteed by England. England, why do you keep trying to screw with me, man? Oh, right, because you hate me. Got it. All right. Yeah, I'm going to end this here. Let's just be cautious. But so far, I'm kind of optimistic. I think we're making some good plays here. This will definitely get me some more land. And the important thing, as long as we get Sutherland, we'll be able to start making our way into to Scandinavia. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.